Hi everyone, welcome to Instant Models, our new video series where we will be looking at real-world problems that can be solved by machine learning. And I'll show how quick and easy it is to build production-ready models for these use cases using Perceptor Labs. Today, we'll build a model that helps us determine whether a patient has a brain tumor or not. For that, we'll use a dataset of CAT scans from people both with and without tumors. Then we'll build a classification model, train it, go over the results, and then test the model. You may not believe it, but we'll get a production-ready model with about 90% accuracy in under five minutes. Let's get to it. First thing first, let's take a look at our data. As you can see, there are two different folders, a folder labeled yes and a folder labeled no. Each folder represents a class and the folders contain a bunch of images, which is what we'll train our model on. Let's take a look at a few of these images. As you can see, it's pretty clear to say which one is which, especially these larger lumps are fairly telling. So a model shouldn't have too much trouble telling these apart either. To organize all of this data, I created a CSV file where each image has a corresponding label, as you can see in here. Now, let's start building a model with it. To start creating a model, we just need to load the data. Then we get to define what is what inside of the data. So we'll have input images, and we'll target different categories. Then we just press customize to start editing the model. I'll be using transfer learning, which leverages an already trained model, in this case from Google, to avoid training everything from scratch. This particular trained model is called VGG16. After this, I'll simply add one more layer, uh, which will be training from scratch to learn our data. And then we just need one more layer as an output layer. When the model is done, we can start training it. As we're using a pre-trained model, we're going to see how the performance goes over 50% really quickly, which is uh, the answer you would have gotten if someone just selected it on random. After four epochs or so, we have a production-ready model which can classify brain tumor with a certainty of over 90%, even better after six epochs which we ran it through now. Not bad, right? We can also run a test, uh, which generates a confusion matrix. Here you can see how many of the test samples were classified correctly. As we can see, we have 14 uh, of the uh, no, not brain tumor, which were classified correctly, and 11 of the ones who had brain tumor, which were classified correctly and a single one which was misclassified. I hope you enjoyed the video and are now excited to try Perceptor Labs. As a reminder, Perceptor Labs is completely free for developers and is available for download on our website. If you have any issues, visit our forum, or reach out to me directly at our Slack channel. You can find all the information, including the data set we used today, in the description below this video. Please subscribe to our channel and watch more of the Instant Model videos.